Hey guys, what's up? Jed here. Welcome to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be solving linear equations with shapes. So we're presented with this problem here, a triangle that has three sides, which are algebraic expressions. We've been given its perimeter, which is 20 centimeters. And finally, the question, find the length of each side of the triangle. So how you approach this problem is as follows. You want to try and make a connection between the information given in algebra and the information given from shapes. You need to know what the word perimeter means. The word perimeter means all of the sides of a shape added together. So now that we know what that means, let's see what we can do when we add the sides of these shapes together. And we have this, a legitimate equation, which is constructed by adding all of the sides together of the triangle and equaling it to 20, which is the perimeter. And this is how you combine the information together to set up an equation that you can solve, which just so happens to be the next step. We have to now solve this equation. We're gonna simplify the left-hand side, but first we must expand the bracket. So that's gonna be two times one, which is two, and two times x, which is two x. And we're gonna bring down the plus and write down the rest of the equation. And this is equal to 20. Okay, now we can collect like terms. I'm gonna first collect my x's, so it's gonna be 5x minus x plus 2x. Collecting these gives us 6x. We have 5x minus x, which is 4x plus 2x. Yep, that gives us 6x. And now if we collect the numbers together, so that's gonna be plus 2, plus 4, plus 2. This is gonna give us plus 8, which equals 20. Okay, so now this becomes a two-step linear equation that we can solve. So I'm gonna isolate the x and I'm gonna eliminate the eight first. So that's gonna be minus eight, minus eight. This leaves us with six x equals 12. I'm now gonna eliminate the six, which is being multiplied to the x by dividing it. So it's gonna be divided by six, divided by six. And this leaves me with x is equal to two. Now we haven't finished the question here. We've only found out what x is equal to. The question originally asks us to find the length of each side of the triangle. And we can do this by substituting two into the expressions for the sides of the triangle. So let's do that with the first one, five x plus two. I'm gonna write out five multiplied by x, but instead of x, I'm actually gonna write down the number it's equal to, which is two. So five times two plus two, and this gives us 12. So the length of the left-hand side of the triangle is 12 centimeters. And we can do this with the bottom side of the triangle, which is four minus X. And instead of X, I'm gonna write two again. So this leaves us with two. So the bottom hand side of the triangle is two centimeters. And if we do this with the right-hand side of the triangle, it's gonna be two multiplied by one plus two, which is going to give us six, six centimeters. And if we add these three sides together, 12 plus two plus six, we get 20 centimeters, which is the perimeter of the triangle. So there you have it. That's how you answer a question on solving linear equations with shapes. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I hope to see you next video. Thanks for watching.